Good day, traders. This is Rich with some price action on the markets. Currently 4 p.m. February 26, 2021. Friday going into the weekend, end of the month. Thank God February is over. Hopefully spring is ahead, warm weather is ahead, and green days are ahead. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. Ooh, just an interesting day again. Um, spy rolling over at the end of the day here. We're watching um, Apple. It took a $99 loss on a stupid trade. I thought it was going to just go, but mm. actually it was two different trades and it just kind of failed on me. But that's beside the point. It ended up being a decent day other than this was my only losing trade or two. Um, I took some trades early this morning kind of flattened out midday took only one or two trades in the late afternoon one was a fake disney news what um but i was able to cash in on that which is good you know anytime you get some fake news and it works in your favor what are you gonna do um fsr was the player of the day uh tried to get in through this 23 break I don't know what happened. I, I kind of just juiced out. I don't know what happened. I just kind of failed to, to to stick with it. Um, I didn't go in very heavy because the markets were just kind of ugly at this point. And you know we have the net, we have the Dow down four seventy five, the Nasdaq up seventy five, and the SPX eighteen. Just the markets are mixed, and, and there's a lot of unknown. And I think you know you guys sit on your hands most of the time. Um, I sat on my hands most of the day. After I took the Boeing trade, I haven't even talked about that. That's how I might start my day. So the Boeing trade station was working. Actually had a couple slowdown moments. Um, unfortunately, I was noticing the lag in the charts. And that's what happened on my Apple trade. I was watching charts and I was getting lag on the charts. My my level two and my prints were working. But I needed the charts at the time because I wanted to see a particular area. But I was looking at the SPY and I thought that was working. And that were moving up, and then all of a sudden it just flipped on me, um, and that's what kind of failed. So I took the Boeing break of 220, um, I believe. Give me a second. It was actually the break of the 219.50 area, which is right about here, and um, took this move up on this particular candle. Hit this 200 simple moving average, and I was like, mm, it's gonna fail. And I started to bail on most of my shares. I got a nice little trade on that. I got like 200, 220 bucks on that one. Um, and then obviously the market just rolled over and this thing fell off. And I was like, eh, what's going to be today? It's going to be a boring day. And then things kind of picked up again on the SPY. It kind of turned around again. And, um, and, then, and then at the end of the day, it kind of failed once more. Uh, but again, FSR um, was pretty much the player today. If you caught some of this moves, look at this move through. Um, right here, high of 26, pull back, back through 26, boom, to 27. I mean, this is just really nice all the way up. This is the one you should have been watching all day for, um, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what it was. It just seemed like it worked. Um, you got up to tw up 30% today, just insane. So these are the kind of stocks you need to be watching when the market is kind of trashy. And that's what I've been getting, you know, beginning to learn. Well, not beginning to learn. That's what I've been learning. I uh, stick to the in-play stocks and ride them out. Um, news play. So news came out on Disney. Um, right here on this particular candle. I jumped in real quick and actually got a one-point move. Didn't catch it all. Uh, only 300 shares. Um, they were signing some deal with the NFL. And... Um, about 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, he said, no, that's not true. And then it kind of fell off here. Um, but I made like 80 bucks on that, 70 bucks on that? I forgot what I made on that. $79. Um, so I ended the day, what I, jeez, I just put it away. End of the day, 348. Uh, up on the week after yesterday's debacle, but I was still up on the week. And um, the month of February was kind of, I would say, down. Um not end up coming back pretty good from my bad losses. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to March already, and hopefully, we can kick it in and find some good trade setups. And hopefully, the market maybe we'll get two or three days of like just a flush and deal with it, and then maybe pick things back up steadily. Um, 
it's going to get uneasy, possibly. And uh, if I have time, I'll do something over the weekend. I'm not too sure. Uh, I've been kind of cranking on the videos lately, and I might need a little break. And uh, actually talking at Trade Station, that's something I'll discuss with you in the next week or two. Um, but other than that, you know, things are going well. And I hope you guys are trading well, making good decisions, managing your risk, and uh, get involved in the channel. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, subscribe if you're new, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. And I'll be back for some great trading in March. Have a good one.